Hello guys, this one's going to be pretty straightforward in terms of a very quick video. I just want to break down the logic to be, you know, kind of overly simplified. If you do follow me, or you are part of our Discord group, you'll already know that uh, I'm bullish overall. But I think in terms of just being logical, you know, I've done this for a long time. Um, I'm actually kind of interested to see how professional these charts are actually becoming. A lot of people will say this is, you know, chaotic and, and crazy and just kind of nuts as a whole. It's all irrational and hyped and it kind of is. But when you look at the bigger picture, it's, it's just kind of calming. It's, it's kind of easy. And I think this is what I'm trying to get across in these lessons. So I'm just going to jump straight into this. I'm going to come out to the monthly time frame. And, you know, this is how simple we can make this. We're going to come from zero. We're going to come up to the first one. We're going to come down for a low two. At the two, we're likely to see a three, a four, and a five. Okay, so nothing difficult, nothing complex, pretty straightforward. Now, let's look at some reasons as to why and where and, you know, even forecasting this potentially. If we look at this being the monthly time frame, we've got to justify these kinds of moves. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with the Fib extension. I'm going to go from my zero up to the one and back down to the two. First things first, and the, the, the first thing I'm actually noticing is we've clearly hit a 2618 at the top, which gives me confirmation that that is some kind of monthly three or could be rather than it actually is. Okay, because you've got to keep the options open. I'm not saying this is exactly what it is. I'm saying just kind of go with this, right? Rather than thinking to yourself, this is now a bear market or, you know, this is kind of buying the dip. Just take a step back, kind of breathe and just look at this, just being a bit more relaxed. So ultimately, if we assume that we've got this kind of move, we've got a, a one, two, three, ignore the five at the moment. What I'm going to look for next is some kind of confirmation that coming down from my two, I'm going to look to see how deep this is. Now, we didn't quite touch a 618, but I'm going to mark it up anyway. Right Now, if you were to ask what I would say this is, it's probably more likely a 5-0 bounce rather than a 618 bounce based on this particular move there, 2 to 3. Okay, So we've got a nice little range. We've got a nice little channel. We could argue that we are now on the way up. So the next thing is we got to look at what kind of extension could we expect based on this move. Now, to do that, what I'd like to do is to aim for the weekly time frame down rather than this as a whole. Because in theory, we've had this overextended period. This should have been a 1618 back down for a 4 up to complete a 2618. But we didn't see that. We saw this hyped move up all the way. So first things first, I'm going to just finish off on the monthly time frame by showing this. And what we have here is the first phase, which is obvious. We then come from the first phase into a pullback two. So I'm going to put one in there and two in there, which for me, I'm going to count everything in the professional era being the one. The pullback two, which was basically the big boys loading up, ready to take this high. Three is often the largest of the waves. And we are now moving into a four. So if you look at this, all we're seeing inside this, right? is we've had an A, potentially the B, and we could easily be in a C. Okay, so just to simplify this, 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 given us potentially this, or even deeper. Okay, so there's no reason to complicate that any more than it currently is. Okay, so on the monthly, that's a couple of options, a couple of variations, and we kind of you know we sat where we are there's no reason trying to force this and not looking to jump into a trade got plenty of time if i was looking to take this to the moon at the moment i'm just relaxed you know this is where we are there's no reason trying to fight this we're either in this particular play here and we've got a bit deeper to come now if i was to analyze this and going down into smaller time frames i'm going to jump from this into the weekly I'm going to get rid of the waste a second just to show you kind of clear as day. So what we now want to do is analyzing from this particular move, 
let's assume that everything is as we said on the monthly now we could assume a monthly complete yeah, completion and i'm just going to look at this and say okay are we happy with the numbers on the weekly time frame the fractal moves within that monthly move so what i'm actually looking for on this move i'm going to be marking up another uh, move so zero to one down for two potentially three four and five i'm going to mark this up in a maybe smaller and a slightly different color let's use something like this um i'm going to keep them without the lines just to make it a bit easier to see and to understand i'm going to take this away or just move it to the side because we've got to think that is the monthly move so <clears throat> next thing is i want to come from the extension level i'm going to go from what i would regard as the zero for the one back for the two now again we could argue that this give us a three move at the 2618 so again very hyper extended overall i'm going to check in a second the pullback move for the four and then we're going to look at the extension for what could easily be deemed as a five so if we were to assume that this is actually the count and this is where we are in that move then yes we could argue that the three monthly is in we are currently seeing a four monthly and knowing where we are on the four monthly we've actually got some indication of this being a bigger term or longer term pullback and we're still in it you know so th th that's kind of the obvious play for me at the moment um i just want to break down because right at the start and i'm going to go back to some moves that i was calling back in march if you see this one um as well as the elliot roadmap which was this one you can actually see and i'll put this on in a second you can actually see inside of these i was calling this to be the weekly now just to justify this potentially being the weekly and i'm I'm still not adverse to this particular account i think it's just more of just understanding you know where and why so if we see that we had the full 2618 extension and it's been hyper extended again now i gotta justify the move here to actually give me some kind of abc pattern inside this okay so i'm just going to mark that up a second so i can find it a bit easier when i come down into the smaller time frame again so ultimately i'm going to be looking for an a a b and a c move which could justify a bigger move and then we're going to see some kind of one two three four and five move to finish and if we can see that quite clearly then yes we could argue this being a monthly three down for a monthly four that has yet to complete so that's where we are at the moment now i'm looking like i said for the justification so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to stick on the fib retracement i'm going to come up to this level and say okay well you know technically we've had a 3a2 so that does tick the box in terms of the levels i'm quite happy with a relatively quick because this one would have been complex relatively quick three four they're all often inversed in terms of the one to two and three to four so what i'm now going to look at is down on the daily time frame i'm going to come across to my little white box and i'm going to say can i justify inside here some kind of abc move like this where yeah probably can a up for b and down for a c get rid of the box to make this clearer which means yep yeah, you know i can justify that then as a four move you can pull this in being pink weekly pink here for the four and then pink up for the five so at the moment i'm probably more inclined to say that this is a current monthly four wave and therefore i can probably keep an eye on this bearish move down now there's a couple of things going back to the monthly that we'd like to see because we've actually had the first abc which has only given us a three we then have whatever this sideways move was which i can't really justify this at the moment now the fact that we've gone kind of up and above this means that this is probably some kind of five wave move so we're probably in some kind of three five something um which doesn't really fit in terms of elliot um but again you know it is crypto it is a bit kind of chaotic so let me stick this on now if we look at the current moves that we have could we justify a zigzag down 
Yes, we probably could. So we've got a zigzag move there being the first leg, which gives us the three. We could potentially see some kind of three in here. And this move given us now a five, given us a potential flat or even an expanded flat as a whole. And therefore, if we see this here, we likely to see a one, two, three, which is likely to see a one, two, and a three. And then at this particular point, we're likely to see the five, given us the one, you know, two, three, whether this is four, five, I don't know. Um, but, but I guess this is where we are. So my guess at the moment is we're probably in some kind of triangle phase as a whole. And therefore, whether or not it sticks as one larger move, or whether that comes into a double three or a triple three type combo will now depend on kind of where next in this larger time frame, but on a smaller time frame to view and work out where we are overall. So I'm going to come back to the weekly because I know I turned the Weiss waves off. So let's assume that we are now three monthly down for a four monthly that potentially has yet to complete. What we're now looking for is some kind of move that could look something like this, which gives us a zero to the A, an A back for the B, and the extension down, which, you know, <laughs> on a 1618 is actually completing in minus level. So I don't see that. I don't think we're going to get down as far as any of these. I think this is way, way, way too small in terms of the current Bitcoin hype. And therefore, what we are likely to see is potentially something closer to the 100% that looks a little bit like this. Now, let me just double check that that was on there. So yeah, something on the 100%, which could look something like this. Now, the only problem that I have with this as a move overall is that if we were to hit this level, we would actually be down here, which would actually give us a deeper abc move on the monthly doesn't invalidate anything on the weekly however it would invalidate the count being up here on the monthly so that also gives me quite a big question mark as to even at a hundred percent we're less likely to see this as an overall move which takes me back to why i potentially think this is more likely the weekly three and we are yet to see a monthly five, uh, sorry, a monthly three, which would take us to the weekly five, monthly three, now giving us an extension just past the all time high. Okay. So they are the couple of options that I am seeing. This is what I'm thinking as a whole. I would like to see this continuation down into this kind of range. Option one. Option two would be to take this bullish. And only take this just past the all time high, giving us the three on a monthly time frame. And kind of not much more than that before getting a proper corrective move down. That move should justify this not being invalidated down here. And therefore, I would like to see a completion of a weekly five, monthly three, ABC down from there rather than trying to justify this on the monthly time frame however like i shown at the start of this video there's nothing to say that this isn't indeed already a three to four on the monthly so at the moment reason that i am relaxed the reason that i'm quite comfortable on this move is that i'm happy to sit on my hands i'm looking for the long-term play as a whole and at the moment i don't have any more clarity as to whether or not this is still bearish and we are down deeper or whether or not this is a bullish corrective move overall and we're actually about to take off up to the all-time high so to finish off with what i'd like to do is to now come back to both the stochastic so i'm going to stick the volume stochastic on and i'm also going to stick the weiss wave on and use the basic tool so in essence what I'm seeing for this now on the weekly is I always start my count the same way. I always look for the largest, giving me the three. So if we were to assume that this move was the three, we could now argue we've got quite a complex 
four. That doesn't really give me much confidence that we've gone up to make a five yet. This could have been the start of a five, but it turns out that we've just turned red, which means that's less likely to be the five. So for me, we're either still in the monthly three to four, or if we were to assume this being now the weekly three to four still, then ultimately we are still bearish. So sentiment for me on the Weiss and the count is bearish. And looking at the current stochastic situation, I think that's still pretty bearish as well. So I think that's where we are. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm seeing. And therefore, I would like to take this more off the table right now and say that I think even if we get a little bit of a dart up in the shorter time frames, I think we're only going to be towards the high of the current B leg that I'm seeing here before we actually see a deeper drop down. So we're going to have some liquidity clearly sitting at this. We're also going to be fueled by, you know, the hype as well as the fear. And therefore, if we do go any kind of higher, I think it's only going to be potentially back to 50 before down. I did say 47, 48, 49 region um, back, you know, maybe a week ago now. Um, and therefore, I... I yeah, I'm kind of comfortable with this being more bearish still at the moment, whether it's weekly or monthly. That's kind of my opinion. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm thinking. So I hope this makes a lot of sense. And thank you guys for watching. We'll be doing another stream in the next couple of days. Cheers all.